Hi, I'm George, and I'm going to show you an easy trick to make skies bluer here inside of Photoshop Elements. But first, if you enjoy this video, make sure you hit that like button, click on subscribe, and take a look at my computer training course for Photoshop Elements. There's a link for that right down there in the description. Okay, this trick allows you to make the sky a lot bluer. You even can't adjust the amount. There we go, so you can adjust the amount of blue in there. And let's see how this is done. I'm just going to delete that layer, get that out of the way. We'll start back from scratch. Here's our basic image. And this is tool right over here, this kind of paintbrush thing. This is the smart brush. And come down here, and you want all purpose, and it's your upper left-hand corner right there. That is the Blue Skies brush. Then just choose a good brush size. This is really just a quick select brush. And then brush in like this, and it's going to select that area for you. Now, if it goes too far, like it's already brought in her face in here and some of her hair and the hat, we can fix that up here with these two buttons. There's the subtract brush button. I'll come in here and we'll take her face back out of that selection. And the hair right in here. And we'll get that hat back out again. There we go. And just work your way around. And now we have a nice clean selection. That's just that sky area. And you see what happens. It has placed in a layer mask over here. That's what we just did. That was a layer mask. And it's placed on a gradient, giving us that blue sky. Now to get out of this, just change your tool to something else. And here's our blue sky. If I hide and show that, you can see there it is hiding and showing. Now I can make it a bit bluer by going up here to the opacity. Move that to the right all the way. It begins at 75%. Big go clear to 100. Get a much bluer sky that way. If you want to do control or adjust that gradient, just double click on the gradient over here. And it brings up the gradient fill. Click on the gradient itself and you can then adjust that right down there. It goes from a blue through to a bit of a purple color and also transparency. Right there, that just fades it into the background so that it blends in nicely. And in most cases, this is going to work out just fine for you. But sometimes it's not going to. And the reason for that is that this is doing a color burn. See up here, it's a blend mode. So it's adding in this color to the existing blue in behind, making it bluer. Let's say you don't have any blue back there. Like I have this picture right over here. It's just a white sky. There's no blue back in here. We can do that also with this tool, but it takes a little tweak to make it work out. So we'll go back over to our tool. There it is. It's still set on the blue skies. And I'll just brush into the sky up here. Just go clear across like that. There we go. And let's fix some of those spots. Go back to the minus brush and let's get that building out of there. And there's a little bit of his hair right here. We'll take that out. Went a bit too far. I can bring that back in again with the plus brush. There we go. Just coming in and just getting that edge just right. And this tree in here. Looks good. And a little bit of building right back in there. Okay, there we go. And notice it has made our selection for us. It's made the layer mask. It's added in that color gradient layer, but we don't see any change. That's because there's no color up here to begin with. So what we need to do here is to change the blend mode to normal. And now we're just seeing just that coloration. Now it's too strong, obviously. So go over here to opacity and pull that back a little bit until you get just the right amount to match your image. Just like that, change tools, and there we go. We now have a nice color sky. If I hide and show that, there's before, we all washed out, and now we have some color up in that sky very quickly and easily using that tool right over here. Again, this is the Smart Brush tool. There's a lot of neat things in here, but the one I tend to use most frequently is the first option right there, Blue Skies. Okay, if you like this video, hit that like button, click on share, click on subscribe. Don't forget to take a look at my complete training course for Photoshop Elements. There's a link for that right down there in the description, and I'll see you next time.